Praise God, everyone. This is uh, Denise Adams from Crystal Waters International Ministries. I'm here today to talk about faith. I'm here today to talk to you about how God can change your life through faith. And I know that I'm having some people join me online. Hallelujah. I'm looking forward to that. Uh, Lisa, Elise, Larissa Gabu will be here with me. Forgive me. It's a new name, and uh, I just love her spirit. I love the way she shares the Word of God, and I'm very excited about what God is doing. Hallelujah. Praise God. You know, I've been in ministry about 20 years, and I'm excited about what God has been doing all of those years. I remember the time that Jesus came and touched my life, and my life was transformed. It was absolutely transformed. Praise God. I'm looking forward to adding um, Larissa online with me today. We're just waiting for her to get online with me. Wave if you're here. Praise God. Okay. I'm going to add you. There you are. Wonderful. I love the way these systems work. It's a lot of fun. And I'm excited because I, I heard from the Lord that he's going to be doing some mighty moves. Glory to God. And it's going to be transforming. Praise Lord. Praise God. And we're just waiting for her to get online. We're adding her right now. That's good news. Um, I've, I've seen so many miracles all around the world where Jesus has come and he's healed people. He's touched their lives. I've been a part of teams, not as a lead. And I've been a part of uh, going out into the crowds of thousands of people and ministering to them individually and in groups of uh, great groups. So it's, it's awesome. We're just waiting for her to be added right now. I'm looking forward to that. Um, the um, computer is adding it. So we'll just see how that's going to work. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. If this isn't working uh, um, now, maybe she's joining us in a second. Hopefully we can always try it again. Let's try that again. I love the system, but it's it sometimes they're not as happy or work when you want them. So I just rebuke everything that's stopping that from connecting, and I command this to connect now, in Jesus' name. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> finally. Praise yeah, God. It wasn't easy. Yeah, I know. It was sometimes it's just what you got to do, right? You just got to um, pray, pray and then use the name of Jesus and tell that devil to get off the lines. We have work to do today, don't we? Hallelujah. Amen. I remember, I remember how you connected with me and said, Denise, we've got to do this. We've got to have a meeting together. And you know, there was no hesitation in my spirit about it. I felt it immediately that I needed to connect to you and immediately to, um, to do this. And I'm excited. So I'm going to hand it over to you, Larissa, and go for it. Hallelujah. Hi everybody, happy to be here tonight again and especially to have the privilege to have uh, my sister with me, this wonderful woman of God, Apostle Denise. She has been a blessing for me and um, I just thought we are all children of God and brother and sister in Christ. Either she's in Canada or here, we have Facebook, so that this is a way for other people there in Facebook and all over the world to get what God has deposited in her life. I've been blessed so much with her preachings and her praying ministry and the testimony that people have been giving because of uh, following her. And then I said, I want to share this with you guys. That's why I took contact with her and she was so open because she's a mother <laughs> and I call her mom. <laughs> And she loves people. I'm going to say something in Norwegian because there are some people who, who are not understanding English. Hi, That's everyone. Everybody, I will clear a little bit of the traffic. I have been blessed back since of Denise, who is an apostle from Canada, or who has been able to be 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 able so see then I got met them or and I've led a group uh, on Facebook. I think that's a dark more for also. Yeah, but at the moment in August, some can bear or some 
kan uh, bära på varandra och är gud att ha, ha gav till många samma gaver. Men uh, hur är helt speciellt för hur är från Kanada och hur har upplevt mycket i livet och hur har växt inom mig så mycket. Så det som jag vill se, si, om du har frågorna, bara skriv eller bönne önska, bara skriv och jag ska läsa. Du kan skriva både på engelsk eller på norsk. Och vi ska ha tre videor sedan vi ska starta om uh, troen. Hur man kan bruka sin tro för att bära för sig själv och hur man kan bära för de för de andra effektivt. Så då kan bli vaccina. Jag älskar dere och jag har en privileg att bli en del av dere och det är en privileg att bli en vaccinese. Så let's start. I just say Great a little start. bit about uh, what we're gonna do and uh, how I met you and why you are special. <laughs> I know there are so many well, people who are called by God, but you have something special and uh, I believe people won't, won't regret to follow us tonight. Well, praise God, you know, there's so many people who have questions about Jesus and, and you know, oftentimes it's just knowing the truth about how much he loves us. Amen. You know, faith, <clears throat> it really works by love. Faith works by love. Amen. And understand Jesus and that he is love. Everything becomes so easy. Hallelujah. That, you know, that religious people, they get mad because they want to do this and they want to work here and do that. And they try to make it happen this way. But when we come to Jesus, hallelujah. Hallelujah. And let go of traditions. Let go of religious things that we thought we had to do to make it happen. Mm. Jesus has already done it all. Amen. So we don't have to make it happen. We just have to come with an open heart. Hallelujah. And uh, ready to receive from him. So I hope, let's pray before we get started. Yeah, you Father, we thank you for everyone online Jesus. today. I bless them today in the name of Jesus. Amen. I ask that you would open their hearts as never before, and show them Amen. things that they've been looking for. Give them answers. Yes. Give them answers, the questions that have been burning yes. in their hearts. And we just thank you, Lord, thank that you, you are Jesus. healing bodies even now. Thank you, as Lord. We don't even have to wait for the message. Yes, I Lord feel Jesus. Is just being released right now Alleluia. over the heart the people yes, over the Lord. lives of people Alleluia. you see it's easy for jesus yes you know it's easy for him yeah. one time he asked denise how hard is it uh you know to for um someone to move a car and i thought well they get the car they move the car it's yeah. quite easy they just turn it on the way they go with it yeah and he says well how hard do you think it is for me to remove pain sickness and disease from people amen it's it's easy it's he knows easy. what to do he knows how to do it, and it's not hard for Jesus. So there's nothing too big that he can't deal with. No, no, no years of sickness, no depression that's been going on and off and on for 10 years. None of those things stop Jesus. No. It's not hard for him. Just like I can drive a car, I know how to, I don't know how the engine works, you know, but I can push the button and make this thing go. Um, Jesus knows how everything works. And he can make it go. So he can fix you. He can heal you. He can deliver you. Amen. And it's not going to take 20 years. It's not going to take 10 months. No. It can happen right now. I believe in the miracle power of Jesus Christ because I've seen it all over the world. I've seen blind eyes open. Amen. Deaf people ears open. I've Amen. seen people who are on crutches throw their crutches away. I've seen people who couldn't walk, get up. People who are paralyzed be free. It's that easy because Jesus came to help us to make it easy. Okay. And religion makes it hard. Religion makes you aren't good enough. Your sin is before you. You can't do it. But God is is willing to um, to do it right now for each and every one of us. Now, I know I have have some notes here that I want to do some teaching. Yeah. But I know there are some people who are going to be, are being healed even right now. Amen. Hallelujah. I have the a first question. question I have a question yes. about, uh, so tonight we're going to talk about faith, how to make your yeah. faith work. What do you have to say about it? Absolutely. How to make your faith work. I was just about to yeah. go there. See, many people think they have to build up their faith to make it work. 
build it up, build it up and build it up. And that's partially true mm -hmm. because, you know, uh, our faith actually, but when we use our faith, it actually um, is increased by use. Hallelujah. Our strength is increased by use. But I want you to know that mm -hmm. when you became born again, yeah. you were given the measure of faith that you need for any type of healing, any miracle, any breakthrough, anything that you need. When you became born again, the faith that you received when you were born again, because God deposited his faith inside of you so that you're not using natural faith. You know, I'm sitting in a chair right now, and it takes my natural thinking to think that this chair, when I sit on it, it's going to work. Yes. I'm going to be, I'll be okay. That's natural faith. Yeah. But we've been given supernatural faith, faith that's far above everything in this earth um it is a, on a different level completely and this faith supersedes anything in the natural Amen. all we need to do is recognize one that when we are born again it's in us and two Amen. that we can use it at any time we want it's the god kind of faith hallelujah the scripture scripture that was burning in my heart was in galatians 2 20 and it says i am crucified with christ Amen. crucified Christ. Nevertheless, Paul got this. Nevertheless, I live. Alleluia. Yet not I, but it's Christ who lives in me. Alleluia. And the life I now live in the flesh, I live by the faith, Alleluia. this faith, the faith of God. Amen. Amen. Who loves me and gave himself for me. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I if have you, a question, that one, Denise. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, but you said something that uh, the moment we became child of God, we have received the, the enough faith to be able to change our life and our environment. But why is it that Christian, there are so many Christians who are struggling with sickness and many other situations in their life, and they have, it seems as if their faith is not, not working? Well, let me give you an example. Yeah. Um, one time we were having a huge crusade. We had a wonderful man of God come in from, um, from the United States. And there was a man sitting there listening to the message in a wheelchair. Yeah. Wonderful Baptist man, lovely man. He sat there and he got told that Jesus took his sickness and infirmity. Yeah. And nobody told him before that Jesus has already taken a sickness and infirmity that he didn't have to hold on to it any longer. No. And he was so mad that he got up out of his wheelchair and walked. Hallelujah. Amen. And you see, a lot of people do not know that Jesus has already taken their pain and their suffering. And mm -hmm. some of them now may have it, and they're hanging on to it. And Jesus is saying, just like uh, if I had uh, something, here's my, here's my Bible. Okay. If, um, well, let's use a coffee cup instead. Um, okay, I got a coffee cup here. It says, if this was your sin, sickness, disease, your pain, everything, all of all the stuff that's hurting you right now. Yeah, I'm and Jesus took the cross. Do you have it? The answer is no, you don't have it. Mm -hmm. And it's as simple as letting it go and letting Jesus take it. And as you receive that word, Jesus comes in in the moment now to enforce that word that we're saying. And even right now, Jesus is healing the sick. Amen. And many people lack relation knowledge of that. They don't understand that principle. And therefore, they've been uh, continue to be hurt and in pain. So, so when I, the team... I, I have some uh, prayerful questions here. So I don't sure. know how long we have again. But I have some prayerful questions. I have one woman who is asking. She, she didn't want to write beside, but she sent me a mail that she's so frustrated. She really wants to receive the desire of her heart. I don't know what it is. But I believe that uh, the God is going to do something new in our life tonight. So well, when we are going to pray, then we're going to... I just wanted to mention her and say to people again, write prayer topic or questions. So, Alessa um, Mensomaher, who her service to Alus Oscriva, Berle Beyar, Barusen, LS First Mollen, Angoen, Vavis Narcoom, Baru Yorde, du Avel Kome, Mescal Hatri, video. And I dog or two en om two uka om e uka is also en om uka etapo. Men du are welcome for delta for send a burn of usker om or spurs molina barriode. Hallelujah. Now, just before I pray, yeah. uh, I 
I really am one who says, look, if you've got a need, let me know what it is exactly. Because I want to come into agreement to see your huge breakthrough. Amen. And some people, for instance, one time, pastor was telling me that he, a woman came up to him and said, uh, I need you to pray for me for a, a husband um, after God's heart. I, I, want a new, I want a husband. And she said, okay, I'm, I'm going to pray. And he, he, he touched her hands and realized she was already married. She had a <laughs> ring on her finger. Oh. And it's Oh, we don't pray those prayers. No, no, no. We'll ask for transformation in your life. Uh, amen. Or, and then your husband's life. But it's important that we pray according to God's word. Amen. So, uh, so when we pray, yeah. you know, please be specific. Uh, because I want to, it's like when you're uh, hitting a hammer, a nail with a hammer. I want to hit it on the head. And I, I want to, and I want to drive it with the word of God. Yeah. And because I want your success and your breakthrough. So, I, you know, I've heard it all. <laughs> so nothing's going to surprise me. No. I'm not going to, you know, and there's no shame in, in what God has done. He's done it all for us. No. So I'm going to pray for um, the godly desires of your heart be granted. Who, uh, In the name of Jesus, yes, Lord. I speak to that woman yeah. and I say in name yes and amen yes, to Lord. the godly good desires of your heart. Amen. May God grant I declare open doors for you yes, Lord. in the name of Jesus Christ. Yes. And I declare your complete breakthrough. Yes, Lord. And I thank you Lord, that things are shifting and yes. changing in even Lord now Jesus. in the name of Jesus. Yes. And as I'm saying that, I'm hearing that there are ministries that wanting to break open. And I just, I, I say in the name of Jesus, in break open Jesus. now. In, in the, the name, name of Jesus. Jesus in the open. name of Jesus. In the name There's of breakthrough Jesus. today. Amen. There's breakthrough day for ministries and for people yes i i know that the lord is breaking through barriers in and jesus things name. that have held me back even mindsets yes. even thinking in the even name of generational curse yes um, generational curse that have broken limited in the you name of jesus. and that have kept you going in circles in the around, the mountain, around the mountain around the mountain around the mount that god is breaking through in the name of today. jesus we are breaking it down in jesus name hallelujah amen amen I just want to pray again and continue to pray for people. I pray that God, you will come to reach everyone watching right now. We believe, Father, that you have set up this time for this moment because you want to reveal yourself as God once more. I thank you, Father, for the teachings that you've given to this, my sister and the Apostle Denise. I thank you for how you have set up this time lord to be available to be a can a channel to a blessing for people lord i thank you father for everyone watching for one one who is going to watch later on i pray father that every power of sickness over their life be broken in the name of jesus lord we join our faith with everyone watching right now we bind that spirit of failure in their life we bind that spirit of depression in the mighty name of Jesus because you have given us power on the earth on the, and in heaven, everywhere, to walk over scorpion and serpent and every darkness because you are the light. Anybody who has received Jesus Christ, I received life, I received resurrection power, and I want this faith not just to start again today, but to start bubbling and rising up in the name of Jesus. We bind those spirits that are coming against their uh, uh, calling in Christ, against their life in the name of Jesus. We command those spirits to go away. And by the word of God that came out tonight, Lord, we say let that word don't disappear. Let them not forget about what they are hearing tonight. Let that word be a seed. That's going to grow and bear fruit tonight and forever in the name of Jesus. We thank you, Father. We bless you. Please continue to write, write prayer topic, question if you, you are online with us now. You're welcome. Amen. 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 And I want to tell you, it's so important to know that Jesus and, and Matthew 8, 17. Matthew 8, Jesus 17. Took, yeah. Mm -hmm. He took our infirmities and carried our pains. Amen. He took it. And I'm telling you right now, many of you have sickness and disease or are in pain. I want you to check where your pain was because I declare in Jesus' name, it's gone. Amen. I declare that that, that cancer is gone in Amen. Jesus' name. Arthritis is gone Amen. in Jesus' name. Claire, uh, 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 
insomnia is gone Amen. in the name of Yes. I declare in the name of Jesus Christ that those who have uh, insulin issues um, that they are free in oh, Jesus' name. Yes, Amen. Hallelujah. Diabetes. Yes, I rebuke in the, the name of Jesus. Diabetes. You rebuke Imagine it in the name of Jesus. Now in Jesus. Yes. Name. In Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. And, and in the name of Jesus. Yes. In Jesus. Name, Jesus. Yes. Jesus. Yes. In Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. And in the name of Jesus, I thank you. Yes. Hypertension, go now. In Jesus' name. Go now. Fear. In Jesus name. Fear of sickness and disease. In Jesus' go name. Go now. In the Jesus' fears, name. Many times fear has been stopping people from from living a full life because they're so afraid they're going to get sick. Mm. They're so afraid of a symptom. Don't let a little symptom tell you you've got a sickness. No. A symptom is somebody trying to knock on the door and say, can I come in? And you just say, no, you're not coming in. No, no I refuse. This. Amen. And do that. You empower yourself and you don't allow, you can't, you don't have to allow sickness and disease no. in your life. Anymore. It's not a portion. Our inheritance. I, I want just to Christ say that what you just say in Norwegian now because it's, it's so powerful. Even Barrien, Tavaru has sat net up. This sick, sick don't come for the who's die. Do her and buy, advise. Oh, well, go out and I must sick don't ele night. For the this you have a special sick dom, do see a nigh and be in your heart and sick dom. Flee from it live in Jesus Christus now. We have for them authority. Men this to accept her sick dom men. O see a yard do can barrel up or I can see them mean sick dom. Do sick dom not have authority over that. Men he talk for he does up. Do do more for store we we mean no yen on the Bible verse. Som sier at vi har fått alle autoriteter. Og de skal ta imot sykdom. De skal velkomme dårlige tankene. Du sier nei, jeg skal ikke åpne døren i Jesu navn. Fly fra meg. I just repeat what you said. It was just powerful. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That would be great. <laughs> Sounded awesome. Praise God. I'm Hallelujah. excited about this. You know, what a wonderful format. Yeah. And we can get together, share the word of God. Awesome. And we can healed yeah I remember I was telling you the story about the woman who uh, who was sick in uh, Slovakia yeah and that was about 10 years ago maybe 12 years ago yeah. and I just I mean they didn't have Facebook live no they didn't have messages at work all I could do was type be healed in Jesus name I typed it <laughs> I typed it by faith and she was completely healed but let me I tell you that. I was healed that way I had a tooth issue I had a, a tooth and it was like um, 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 uh, inflamed and it was just throbbing, 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 throbbing. Oh. And I saw on this messenger system in the older days that my, my pastor was up and I knew that he had another uh, pastor in from out of town. They're both apostles. Yeah. And I so saw, I typed, I, hi, I need help, help, I need help. And he went, he typed back to me. Be healed in Jesus' name, and all the pain left. Alleluia. And that was in the stages when I didn't understand Amen. these things. This reminds me. Ago. This reminds me yeah. of the woman of issue of blood. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You and have faith, help, help. and you receive it because when your heart is prepared, when you believe, yeah. just to believe faith, and then but when your heart is you, prepared, I, you receive your healing. I tell you, I wasn't. I didn't have a whole lot of faith. Oh. I was in a whole lot of pain. I was at the point where I couldn't think. You know, there's some people, you're at a point where you can't even think because the pain is so much. Yeah, I understand. And I want to tell you today, then don't worry about it. There's enough faith. It doesn't Amen. matter. Just hearing this. Just hearing this word. There's enough faith. Amen. Amen. To move yeah. mountains. Jesus Alleluia. says it. Just, yes. That mm -hmm. much faith it takes to move a whole mountain. God is moving mountains. And Amen. God is people. doing it. God. Yes. Yes. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now, what God I want to tell the ladies and gentlemen to do is do this. If you if you had a pain in your head, put your hand on your head. If you have the pain on your nose, put your hand on your nose. Wherever the pain is, um, put your hand on it right now, okay? And uh, if it's all over you, just stick your hand on your head. That works. It gets everything. If you, if you need an overhaul, just put your hand on your head. Amen. 
And, mm -hmm. and as you're doing that, I want you to start moving what you couldn't move. Oh, Just check it. Start moving it. Oh, start if your elbow hurts, move your elbow. Hallelujah. Amen. People are getting delivered. Thank I saw Jesus. Jesus. I saw Thank him you, come into your house. Come through this line yes, into Lord. your house where you are, and he's yes, healing you Thank right you, now. I saw it. Thank you. I saw it. So Jesus is yes, here in right Jesus now name. to heal Amen. you. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you. Amen. Glory Amen. to God. Glory be to Praise you. God. Hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. you know, I have one more word of wisdom that the Lord gave me, mm -hmm. word of knowledge and a word of wisdom. Yeah. There's been a woman who's going to university, and she has been hiding. She's been trying to get rest. She has no rest. She has no peace. And uh, she's seeing the sin in her life, and it has been following her, and she tries to get rid of it herself, tries to get it off, but he, she can't seem to get it off. But what God is saying is you can't. You need my, the blood of Jesus Christ to wash Jesus. you from all sin, to wash you and cleanse you from all unrighteousness. And today, if mm -hmm. you'll say yes to Jesus, yes, Lord, come be the Lord of my life. Wash me from all unrighteousness. Wash me from the sin. Cleanse me from all the sin. Mm -hmm. Be my God. Be the Lord of my life. I Amen. believe you died for me. I believe you rose again for me. I believe that you're seated at the right hand of the Father. Yeah. And I receive you now. And I receive my healing. And I receive my freedom oh, my today. God. Thank you, In Jesus. Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. I believe as you said those words, as you came into agreement with those words, I believe you're set free from the bondages that, and the terror and the traps that the enemy has placed in your life. And Amen. that you're going to have peace like a river and joy like a river Amen. and every everything that has happened in your past is completely over Amen. god is taking care of it all yes. in jesus name Amen. Amen. i have i just want to, you to summarize a little bit what you said at the beginning because everyone wasn't there and uh, it was what well, how to keep your faith or how to make your faith okay. work that was the how to uh, make your faith work yeah Yes, yeah, so I know we have a number of questions and we're building precept ideas upon ideas that God has placed in his Bible to help us. But the thing that we need to know in the very beginning is that we have the measure of faith. Jesus Christ has already given us all the faith we need to make every situation clear up and be good. Amen. Uh, in Galatians 20, he says, uh, Paul got it. He understood the scripture. He says, I'm crucified with Christ. Yeah. Nevertheless, I live. Yet it's not I, but it's yeah. Christ. Believe in me. It's Jesus who mm. lives inside of me. Amen. And the life I live in the flesh right now, I live by the faith. We're living by his faith. Amen. We're alive in his faith. Mm. I live in the faith of God who loves me and died for me. Amen. 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 Take that scripture. That's your point A in this journey is, is knowing that it's his faith that's doing it. It's supernatural faith. It's not natural faith. Amen. It, natural faith says I can sit in a chair and uh, it's good. But supernatural faith moves mountains that we can't see. Amen. Block it. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. That's, that's the start point. Mm. So know you have that faith. And that you have enough faith to command every sickness to leave. And we're going to go into that. We're going to be having some more teachings coming yeah, up, aren't two we? More because teachings. it's so in this. I couldn't do it <laughs> and in a short thing. I was, I, I, this is the one nugget that I want you to get right now is that the devil's been lying to you and telling you you don't have enough faith for no. this. Or you're but not we good do enough. Have from or you can make day, it. Yeah. From the day we receive at Christ, then we have the fullness of, our, of faith. The measure exactly. that we need in every situation in our life. Absolutely. Amen. And so just knowing that, it opens the door for you to move in the miraculous. Hallelujah. And so the door's been opened, and we got so much more teaching to share <laughs> on this. I'm excited. <laughs> I'm excited. Mm -hmm. This is so good. So we thank God yeah. for, for all the people watching. You are wonderful. <clears throat> I just feel in my heart that, there are so many people watching that some people that have been feeling that what nothing that they are not loved. I want to yeah. tell you something. You are so precious. You have yeah. been made. We have been made after God's image and likeness. There's not word to describe how much God loves us. 
sending Jesus Christ, he sent everything. So he cannot refuse you healing. Amen. He can refuse you anything according to his will. Amen. And for that woman that uh, you, you had a vision and everyone, you gave a word of knowledge, I just want you to start confessing and acting upon your faith from today. And um, I just want to tell you, you are very loved and you are precious. One tip I usually do every morning, I stand in front of the mirror and I say that to myself. If no one tells you that, remember the Bible says, it. God tells you that. And you have to say to you, to yourself all over and over, you are precious, you are wonderful. And just take with this message today, faith. Faith yeah. coming by hearing the word of God, continue to seek in the word of God, to, to, to know more about faith. And we shall see yeah. and, uh, and uh, hear testimony uh, in the next mm -hmm. video. I don't think it's, is it next weekend? On Saturday maybe? Um Yes, I think we can. It's next Saturday. And what time are we doing it at? Um, we can do it one hour, one hour uh, earlier, earlier than today. Yeah, earlier than today. Good. That's mm -hmm. good. So that would be 1030. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah, 1030 awesome. in Canada. 1030 and, and, and 730 <laughs> here. <laughs> yeah. Canada has five time zones. Oh, five. Okay. Oh. <laughs> so we say Pacific Daylight Time, so we know it's it's West Coast time in North America. Okay. So, so yeah. thank you for being here with us. Is there anything you want to say again? Or well, I'm, I really appreciate that the Holy Spirit has brought us together to do this Amen. mini series of teachings so that I know that transform lives. Mm. Yes, bring your comments let me know who's been healed i want to hear your story yeah. i want to hear your testimony because in the testimony is the power of god for someone else's healing so as you share about what jesus did for you today the power is present in the notes below that will heal somebody else somebody else needs to hear about your victory amen Hallelujah. There is Amen. a power in testimonies. Amen. Absolutely. Yes. Absolutely. I mm. want to thank you. Uh, I'm so glad God connected us. And this Me is too. what a pleasure. The pleasure. I'm so happy. So good. The pleasure is the same for me. And, and I'm so thankful for God and, uh, and what he's doing and allowing us to be a, a channel of blessing for other people. This is awesome. And thank you again, Apostle Dennis. And uh, I just want to encourage people to continue to just pray and uh, stand on their faith. And the word they have received today, let them multiply it by confessing it and trying to seek more in the word of God. Yes. Okay. Uh, Are you going absolutely. to pray? Then you can pray. And, uh, oh, that let me is pray. Your Father, we just thank you for today. Thank you, we thank you for this great beginnings in people's lives thank that you, you love them so much. You compelled us to be online today yes. to do this series so that you could touch their life, that you could reach them, mm -hmm. that you could go through the airwaves and be in their living room and touch them. Lord, let their eyes be filled with joy, yes. the tears mm -hmm. of joy to their eyes let them know perceive and understand your great love for them we thank you lord god you, for Jesus. those who who are receiving healing or don't understand thank it yet you. that they'll come back time and time thank again you, and get more revel revealed knowledge from you mm -hmm. through the power of the holy spirit that their life will be changed that this won't be the one message that they hear but they will hear the series yes. and it will be life transforming because we go from glory to glory hallelujah and Thank you, Lord, Thank for you, this. Jesus. In the name of Jesus, I release the blessing over you. Hallelujah. Bless you. Yeah. Good, good vaccine. Hallelujah. Oh, yeah. Hope we can say it Next to Lord, good vaccine. That whole Lord and who or then this vaccine is a ikke ye op good elske dai good ha and plan for dai. Had a says next. Send a Lerdag. <laughs> okay, bye. See you then. <laughs> Thank bye you bye. so much. So we're going to meet next Saturday, 1030, same place. And we'll see you all. Invite somebody to come. Invite someone to come. Yes. They need to hear the word of God. Okay. Amen. 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 Bye-bye.